All right, so today is 2020 April 7th, um, and this is uh, our weekly webinar from Project. So let's start from uh, Gold. Okay, so Gold, uh, as a, the fundamental information is, okay, first of all, the, the USA's employment data is bad. The non-farm payroll, we all have that, right? So the NFP is bad. So basically, we can we know that the virus, okay, is, uh, uh, dragging or having a lot of uh, troubles, uh, damages, okay, the economy. And uh, we, can, we can know from the, the data, right, because a lot of people are losing jobs and uh, uh, we see the, the numbers of people who are applying the, uh, the loss, the fund of the lost job is uh, uh, about uh, 6 million people in the USA, so that's why. Uh, people are worrying about the economy, worrying about the health, uh, hospitalization situations, and how uh, bad the coronavirus is going to uh, damage the world economy. So basically, uh, we can see the gold has another rally from the 1560 to 1674, right? So in the last webinar, uh, if you remember, uh, I'm saying that we can rely on this uh, 1630 level to take a short. Right, and that is actually uh, one week ago. So the gold did actually fall about 700 pips from that. And then uh, since the uh, virus still continue going, and uh, uh, we can see the gold breaks this level, and hence we are all leaving our, uh, left our closing of all short positions, right? However, in the non-farm payroll day, which I mentioned in my group, uh, I said, if the gold uh, succeeded to break 1,620, and we are going to make some buy because this is a very uh, classical <coughs> scenario that we are looking for this place you can see here there's a lot of a resistance okay we have resistance from here from here and from here right so the number of pair day the gold actually uh, breaks up right and then it just continue ready so we captured this this uh, ready and now the gold start to sideways however uh, we do see some minor structures broken. For, for example, here, basically, uh, we can see that uh, there's a support from 1654, okay, was broken and was retest and failed to, failed to break new high. And hence, there's a, a quick trade for us to catch, which is a, a very quick gold short trade. We can sell from 1656 uh, and aim uh, 1628, okay? So this is uh, could be our potential opportunities. Today. However, in the long in the long run, the gold still uh, uh, may creating a higher high because if we go to the weekly chart, what we can see here, guys, what is this pattern? Anyone? Yeah, you can click join with con uh, computer audio to yeah. Yes, this is an inside bar, right? This is an inside bar. And we notice that the, the mother bar is very dominating, okay? The mother bar is very dominating because it is a very, very huge, big green candle, okay? And then this inside bar, it is also a pin bar, right? Or we call it hammer, okay? So inside bar forms a ping, a ping bar. So what does this tell us? Okay, a strong move up, followed by a ping bar, okay, retested and su uh, successfully bring up. And then this week, this week, today is uh, still Tuesday, the gold already broken up. So this is tells us, yes, it's reject from here. We all we can see, uh, we can say it is a support from one six, uh, one one thousand six hundred level, and the important thing is it breaks the inside bars high, correct? So by the definition of inside bar, we should actually enter a trade from one sixty thirty two to capture the to capture the growth, and our target should be minimum. Uh, one to one okay so gold may still rally to 1683 if you follow by this weekly inside the bar however this is tells us the the situation is uh, gold still have some momentum to go up it may break the high from here the 1700 level 
okay? Right, because we, uh, let's look at the monthly chart, okay? From the monthly chart, we can, okay, we can see very, very clear the gold is still uh, in the, in the uh, uptrend channel, right? Basically, uh, we can draw this channel like this, okay? Something like this. So it's still working in the channel and uh, <clears throat> it may continue to go up to retest the 1,800, maybe this high. So I want to highlight you guys that do not short gold right now because uh, in the long run, the gold still can, it's still possible for the, uh, the gold to approach in 1,800 level. And we may want to find some pullback to buy, okay? To buy and hold to that level. This may, uh, could be a long trend for us to catch the gold, okay? So right now, let's go to four-hour chart. Uh, let me just highlight you where could be a very good place to buy the gold, right? Which here, 1,630, okay? Because when we see the four-hour chart, it's very clear that this Marubuzo bar, this bar, broken this place and never retested. Hence, if the gold really come back to this area, okay, we should focus to, to find some patterns for buying, okay? And that will be a very good <clears throat> plan for us, right? So please uh, reply me by one if you understand what I'm talking. Okay, I'm basically telling you where to buy the gold. Okay, we want to buy the pullback. We want to buy the dip from 1630. Okay, 1630. And we may aim for another high. Okay, do not buy here. Okay, right now you can find some short position for a lower time frame quick sell. Okay, a quick sell to 1630. All right, and then from upon the gold reaching 1630, we should buy. Okay, we should buy. All right, this is gold. Uh, let's uh, move on to dollar index, okay? The dollar index have a strong rally but failed to maintain above 100. And look, 100 level is very important. Okay, let's just uh, manage this 100. <clears throat> this 100 level, uh, if we look left, we found a lot of uh, similar price action here, okay? It is uh, the top at uh, 215, okay? When the, when, the, when the USA first, they okay, start the first increase hike, okay? And then it was uh, slightly broken up. However, it formed the neckline in the year 2017. And then now what we know is the Fed has already decreased their interest of dollar to zero, right? And the dollar failed to maintain above 100. Although there is a candle who break this uh, 100, that is due to the insufficient liquidity of the dollar index of the US dollar because people are looking for the US dollar to converting their risking assets back to the cash. That's why the dollar was uh, uh, insufficient at that moment. However, when people when we start to realizing the, the, the economy of the USA may go bad, okay, and the, the long-term interest rate is zero. So Basically, we, get, we know that the dollar is very hard to maintain at such expensive level. And thus, we want to make a forecast that dollar may go down, all right? Okay, so when we go to daily chart, we can see even more clear. You can see here the 100 level, one, 101 level becomes the neckline, correct? Right, this is a, a, a forming, former uh, support level. Okay, we, we, we found one, two, three, four, five candles sitting above this and it was broken and retested, okay, and failed to maintain above. So, and today it's a very, very bearish engulfing candle stars. So this is tells us the dollar is going down, right? So let's short a dollar, a short dollar. Basically, we want to buy all the majors. You can choose to buy the euro, right? In fact, we have already kept the euro on last Friday when I mentioned the group that are this, there is a channel, okay, there's a channel here. And when the channel was broken, okay, broken up, retest, you should go in, you should go into the trade. And this is uh, one of our favorite pattern, all right? So this is a downtrend channel and the price was broken up and you wait for the second test to buy in, okay? And just set your stop loss below the low. And you can easily capture this 200, 200 pips move. And I think that the euro may still ready, okay, to uh, at least 1.11. Okay, that is the first target of the euro. Okay, 
then it may break this level and go even higher depending on how weak the dollar is okay so uh, you can consider to buy the euro to capture the rally you can also consider to buy the sterling okay the sterling has uh, uh, already sustained from this 1.22 level there is a structure here you can see here okay it's a beautiful structure that was a previous uh, the origin of this uh, fall okay the selling the origin of the sell, sellers right the sellers was taken at here okay so what we can see is the seller was gone after these five candles uh <clears throat> sideways candles and then was broken up and then it formed another kind of a consolidation area and what what we want to see is uh, here there is a pin bar here the pin bar retest the 1.2160 and then this is a very clear sign that the study may still go up. Okay. So basically what we can do is we want to uh, put the sterling as this kind of a flag patterns, right? You can wait for uh, another confirmation is that when the flag was broken. So you can see the uh, buy and the pullback of the sterling, right? If you see the flag was broken, the channel is broken and you can buy from here and aim 1.30, okay, aim 1.30. Okay, yeah, so this is for the sterling, all right? Let's move on to the dollar yen, okay? The dollar yen uh, is uh, not moving very, very fast recently because it only moves about uh, 900 pips from the low, from 101, the high is 111, so that is only this uh, 1,000 pips move, and now it's really moving very slow. You can see the range is actually decreasing, okay? So, uh, <clears throat> but we can see that the dollar yen has uh, hit some structure, which is 109.35. Uh, the structure was defined here from the previous support. Okay, the support was taken, pull back, failed to <coughs> stand above. So you can consider this rally as a correction wave of the previous down wave. Okay, so basically we want we we can use this A B C D rules. All right, so the, this is a wave A B. And this is a, a correction move, and it may have another wave down to 104. Okay, but that is uh, uh, telling us that yen may, uh, will be uh, increasing. If the yen will appreciate against dollar if the things really happens like this. Uh, when we see the the stocks market market has another another uh, crash, and yen will actually be uh, going well when the risk is off, okay? So dollar yen, you may want to sell here from 109 and aim 106 and 104, okay? So this is uh, the view of dollar yen. Okay, another very good uh, pair is Aussie. Uh, the Aussie dollar we want to uh, buy from the low and uh, which I keep mentioned that uh, the, the Aussie has already formed their double bottom, right? Okay, double bottom and it keeps uh, going higher lows okay higher lows okay so this is uh the double the double bottom for the aussie and uh we want to see here there's another flag patterns okay flag patterns are telling us the trend is continue up okay trend is continuing up the aussie may go back to 0.65 at least they could retest in this place. But we still have another uh, like 300 pips move to, to, to catch. Okay, so what you can do is you can find a pullback to buy the Aussie. Like if the Aussie pull back to 0 0.61 at this place, you may consider to buy. Okay. So this is, will be uh, easy money for the Aussie. Okay. And if you study the Sterling Aussie, you can see the Sterling Aussie also turns down, right? You can see the Euro Aussie is also turning down, okay, or even going lower. So this is tell us the Aussie is going to be very strong in the future. And another pair is Aussie Swiss franc. Uh, it actually hits the monthly low. Uh, this is a monthly chart of the Aussie versus the Swiss franc. Complete this uh, big ABCD pattern. Okay, and even going lower. So uh, I feel that this will be uh, not a fair value for the Aussie Swiss. 
okay because Australian is not that bad the Australian dollar okay and the may have another strong rally back to 0.77 okay basically you can treat this as a v-shape okay a v-shape is uh, going to be forming uh, and we want to capture the opportunity to, to buy the low okay buy the low buy the low buy the low okay so uh, all these swiss francs we have another uh, like uh, 700 pips move in the future to capture so you can buy the shape of all these swiss francs okay yeah, sure. That's uh, talking about the oil. Okay, the oil. We have a very, very nice rally. If you're looking at my uh, trading view ideas, which I published here. Okay, I said we can buy from twenty, uh, because when the oil, when the oil drop to uh, the lowest place is nineteen point thirty three and form the uh, engulfing candle, and uh, we have two <coughs> place to for us to capture the rally. The first one is here. Okay, it's here. When the uh, in, when the engulfing candle formed, and you bought from twenty, and then the second place is actually the six one eight pullback. Okay, so six one six one eight pullback gives us a, a seven hundred fifty move pullback to twenty point twenty three, and you buy, you kick in, you all the way you earn to nine twenty nine. Okay, but right now the 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 oil is sideways, uh, but we want to treat this as a trend reversal. Okay. Already broke all the downtrend. So the, if there is a pullback, we want to buy definitely. Okay, another pullback you want to buy by the low, and you can use the Fibonacci level to help you to get to capture a good place. And let's measure that. Okay, so the Fibonacci six one eight will be at uh, twenty three. However, I don't think the the oil will go to that deep because uh, it already formed a demand zone here, which is a rally based rally. This is a demand zone. And uh, I think it will be good to for us to buy the oil, buy the oil from 24 about here, right? If the oil really give us this place, and we want to capture from 24, okay. The, the I think the outlook for the oil is quite uh, quite good because uh, the Russia and the uh, the Iran and the, the Saudi is going to you know I think uh, they won't actually allow the oil to be uh, in a very low price, okay? So the USA will push them to, you know, to make this agreement of the, um, the decreasing of their manufacturing, okay? Uh, <clears throat> so the oil price may have a rally. I think the gap is uh, likely to be filled in the future. So there's a way, there's a, also another ABCD wave uh, you, can, you can imagine, okay? So the, you, you put this as a first wave and after consolidation, Okay. After consolidation, we have another another rally. Okay, so and that's our job. Okay, and that's our job to capture the rally, the next rally. Okay, we may still have another like seven hundred pips move to thirty four. Okay, so basically, I think the oil may still go up to thirty four, or even eventually uh, going back to forty to fill the gap. And what we are going to do is uh, we're going to buy the low. All right, so focus on buy the low from twenty four point ninety five. Uh, is it recommended to use a buy and hold strategy for oil? Yes. If you want to use a buy and hold strategy, you better go to the ETF. Okay. You can go to the United States Oil Fund. Okay. The ETF is only five point five one dollar per share or per unit. Okay. So you can just say, uh, let me just invest uh, one thousand shares. Right. So one thousand shares, you are you are spending about five thousand and five hundred. US dollar as your national value, okay? So if you invest 1,000 share from 5.51, and if the oil really goes up, okay, you may have a, a potential gain to 16 or 20 or even 28, okay? And that will be a very, very strong rally of this uh, five. You can even three poles or, you know, quarter uh, profit, 400% profit of this, okay? So you better use this uh, USO as your instrument to buy and hold the oil, not in the future market, because the future market, you have to pay the low oil fees. And in the future market, uh, there's leverage, which is uh, quite uh, risky because if your, your amount of your account, your balance is not enough to cover the loss, you may be margin card and you have to put more money, right? So I think uh, if you want to use your uh, if you want to use a buy and hold strategy, you better use the USO. Okay, 
you you try to find where to buy it, or that's easy. You just you you just need to open a stocks market a uh, stocks broker. You have to find a stocks broker like Interactive Brokers or any other securities firm that are can selling you USA stocks. Okay, in my world, uh, I know that the the Tiger Securities okay for the uh, is specialized for for the USA stocks uh, and some are uh, local Singapore securities firms like the King Ming, the DBS securities, the UOBK Hien also can provide you this, right? So you just need a brokerage account to trade stocks and uh, importantly, it have to help you to trade the US stocks and you can buy the USO. Uh, is this the only ETF? No, it, it has uh, another ETF which is uh, uh, UWT, I think, UWT. Uh, it's actually a triple velocity, triple long. So this will be uh, even uh, high risk because it actually uh, is a triple long crude oil ETF. Uh, so it has a leverage of three times. So it has this, uh, um, uh, so when the oil going up, it will actually rally more than, three times more than USO. However, if the oil starts to consolidate, you have to pay the uh, uh, the depreciation fee. Okay, so I don't suggest you to buy the UWD. Okay, so I think USO will be the safest place to go in. All right, just going the USO will be good. Um, okay, let's move on to dollar Canadian. The dollar Canadian uh, forms the top at one point four six, which we find that okay, we we find the first top. This is the first top. Okay, and we found another 618 pullback didn't really go under the high. So that is a potential point for you to capture sell from 1.45. And if you miss this trade, okay, you can still find another pullback to sell, which is here. Okay, you can just draw this 618 again. You can, uh, the price of is getting very, very close to 1.3375, which is a 618 pullback right here. So, and by looking at the candlesticks and the pin bar here, we find the structure was here. Okay, this is structure here. All right, so I think dollar Canadian is okay to sell. Uh, definitely don't sell at this low price. You can wait for the pullback to sell from 1.41. Okay, in the four hour chart, the recent broken place is here. Okay, you can see the support. Okay, the buyers, buyers, and buyers diminished okay so find the pullback to 1.41 you can sell the dollar canadian you can sell the dollar canadian from here okay, and see whether we can go back to the 1.35 this uh gap. So this uh it's also in the line with our oils long positions okay because we know the oil is going up so the canadian dollar will appreciate the dollar canadian will fall and the dxy will fall so that's why we want to sell the dollar Canadian. Okay, are we good? And Dinesh says, uh, if dollar is, is expected to go down, can we expect the S&P to go as well? Are they positively correlated? No. The dollar index and the S&P are not positively or negatively co uh, correlated. Because if you compare, if you compare these two from the long term of view, let's just compare, right? So let me just show you, you can see very clear. It didn't really move, uh, or it has a very, very strong connections, okay? When dollar, when dollar index goes sideways, right? Up and down, S&P keeps ready, okay? S&P keeps ready, and this place, it actually forms a positive correlation, correct? And the dollar index have a strong ready, the S&P didn't have a strong ready. S&P just continue ready. When the dollar index goes down very quickly, the S&P still goes up, okay? When the dollar index hits an all-time high, the S&P hits an even higher high. And when the S&P goes down very quickly, the dollar index only fall a, a little, okay? So you can see this is not very, very much uh, correlated, okay? Doesn't really have any correlations. Because one is the currency. The, the dollar, the values of the dollar, okay, which is actually more uh, weighted from the amount of supply from the Fed. 
okay? Because when every time when the USA going to QE, right, there will be more money in the, in, uh, of, the, of the dollar in the market and the, the dollar should be goes down. However, the stock market just behaves its own way because stock market are the shadows or are the combinations of the companies, right? We know that we have economic cycles that every 10 years or eight years there will be a financial crisis. And right now it actually already is a financial crisis and price dropped about uh, 30% okay, of the S&P, of the NASDAQ. Okay? But the, the, the dollar index still performs its own way. Although we know that the QE already starts, the, 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 the US government is uh, printing a lot of money in the world. In the, in, the, in the USA to helping the people, right? To, to fight against the coronavirus. However, the dollar index is still not moving, okay? So there's a difference between currency world and the stocks market, okay? So try not to, to link this together. If you want to really link one thing, you don't compare the dollar index. You should compare the, the ZN, okay? The ZN, let me just show you, okay? The ZN is a, the US 10-year notes. Okay, this actually moves quite correlated because the bond, okay, the bond price, okay, moves higher and the stock market goes down, okay? The bond and stocks are negatively correlated. Cool? All right, so in my view, the S&P may have a rally to 3,000 level or 2,900 to this level. Okay, because this is a place that the, uh, the stocks crash happens, okay? And if you pull our 618 here, you can see just right at the 618 level, 2,932, okay? So wait for the SME to rally to here and focus on selling the SMP from here. I want to sell from here, or you can open some... Um, put, okay, you can buy some put, the options, okay, of the S&P. It's hard for it to go back to 3,000 level above, okay? So you can treat this as a correction, okay? A very strong downside wave, a correction after that, okay? And then another strong downside wave, okay? So to maybe it will break 2,000, who knows? Because if we start either the financial crisis that in the year 2008, okay, you can see here, it's quite uh, similar. Before that is actually a very strong bullish mark from 2000 year to the year 2002 and 2008, okay? And then it have a very strong bearish wave comes in and up from 1005 to 1002, which is closely at 30%. Right, and then has another pullback. The pullback to where? To the previous neckline here. Okay, you can see this neckline. Okay, previous support, support, so, uh, the support was gone, and pullback becomes sell, and then another second wave come down. So I'm suspecting the uh, the S M P may have another fall of the second leg. Okay. So in the year 2008, and let's go back now, okay? So this is only the first wave, a correction, and may have another correction, another for, or we call it an ABC move, okay? Find a place to sell high, okay? Don't sell now, now it's still going up, okay? This, uh, today, the S&P performs quite well. It breaks a 2,644 level, Forms a little a minor double bottoms, uh, but this uh, is very very fragile because uh, it may turn anyway. It may go up and just turn like this. Uh, can I put a sell limit for the price that I want to only the price section trade? Yeah, you can put a sell limit here because if you really love this level one two thousand nine hundred thirty two, definitely you can put a sell limit. All you need to do is you have to find a good place for you to stop. Correct. So if you want to sell from this level, the best stop loss level could be about 3,035, okay? I will, if, if I were you, I would just put my stop loss above this candle, that'd be enough. I will put your stop loss above this candle, that'd be enough. That represents the, sell, the sellers, okay? I don't, I don't want to see the, I do not want to see the price to go beyond that, 
because if the price go back to 3053 it actually forms a reshape and may still goes up to go back to 3300 but definitely i don't want to risk that much okay so you can sell limit from here you can you can calculate how much shares how, how much uh, loss size you want to trade because it is easy for you to <clears throat> to manage that uh let's say if we sell from 2950 or yeah 32 and our stop is about 53 let me just put 52 we are risking about uh 100 100 and uh, sorry it's not 100 from the from 3052 minus 2932 will be close uh about 80 dollars right yeah okay about 80 80 dollars and we know that uh the the es mini contract okay the the smp contract is 50 shares per contract so if you sell one lot you are actually risking four thousand us dollar so the best way is if i'm just risking 400 by by four thousand which tells me i should trade 0 0.1 lot of the smp okay because you are we are risking about 80 dollars and there if the one contract is 50 shares the so 50 times the 80 is a four thousand so this is a this is how much I'm going to lose by trading one contract of, of the S&P. And this is the amount that, that I'm able to, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to lose, or is my risk per trade. So use 400 divided by 4,000, that gives me 0 0.1 lot. Oh, not 80, but 120 or that, then we have to calculate again. You sure it's 120? Is that all? 3052 minus a 2952, yeah, 2952 minus another 20, yeah, 120. So if you are trading one lot, it's not no longer 4K, it's about a 6K, right? So in this case, 400 divided by 6,000, you may trade less than maybe 0 0.08. You have to use mini contract. Do not trade one contract or one standard contract. That would be too risky for you. And your question is very very good because if you want to see the price action on here okay then you can actually decrease your stop loss <coughs> at the next stage because if you see a ping bar let's say you see a ping bar okay and once the ping bar was formed we know that yeah the price is uh, rejected from here you do not need to sell your stops above this high you can just sell it at the ping bar right and once you see our inside bar, if you see an inside bar, boom, break down, okay? And you can just apply the inside bar's rule, okay? You sell from here, you put your stop loss above the inside bar's high, okay? So it's up to you which strategy you want to use. You want to sell limit at this level, or you want to wait for the price action, because this is daily chart, okay? I'm sure that you can actually find, we can wait for the price to get this zone, and we can go into a lower time frame to look what is the price action here okay so try to use a multiple time frame for you to capture a good entry point and to minimize your stop loss range so that you can have a less uh, risk amount and you can trade more loss size basically you can enhance your your reward and risk ratio are we okay are we okay Okay, good. All right, so this is for the S&P and the same for the NASDAQ. NASDAQ is also not performing well. Yeah, it actually already uh, comes to the previous uh, the structure here, okay? But it may still rally, so we can also use the 618 measure where it is 8,557. So this is a critical price level for you guys to look, okay? A557, and for the Dow Jones, but the Dow Jones is uh, getting lower than the S&P and NASDAQ. It's a 2527. Okay, I think Dow Jones will have a very good uh, uh, confluence area because here is 618, okay? 
the six one eight is here. The structure is here. The previous three times of support is here. So I will be more interested to sell Dow Jones instead of S M P. Yeah, it may may give a better entry place. Uh, crazy next earning session will be bad. Yes, you're right. You're right. All the companies are not. Uh, I mean, basically, majority of the, the 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 companies are not performing well because people getting fired or unemployed, and uh, there's less uh, factory orders. There will be uh, less uh, transactions, less commercials, less retail sales. Okay, and all the the restaurants, the hotels, the, the cinemas. Are closing so that's very bad it's really bad but only the medical industry are still good right because you know that uh, now the China is getting very very hard to producing the masks okay and also for the breathing machines okay however uh, we don't know how bad the situation could lo could last long but just get 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 prepared because Whenever a, a, a crisis or, or economy or a recession is coming, it is not definitely for a short time. It will be lasted for at least six months or nine months for the market to to retain the confidence. Okay, what I mean, what, what I mean, the confidence is, you know, the, the confidence actually pushed the, the, the stock market all the high, correct? And that's because people believe, yeah, we are good, we are good, we are good, we are still good. Yeah, break new high, let's buy, let's buy, okay? The company is still doing well. The earning reports is well, okay? Even a small correction, no problem. We still are in the bullish market. Boom, the, the virus comes. And it's here, this, you can see this desperating price level, uh, price action tells you that the, the, the market is, is getting lack of confidence. And the money you want to escape, all right? And basically, it will not end just here. Okay? Even uh, I, I can I can tell you I can I can guarantee you guys, even if the coronavirus are controlled at end of this uh, April or May, okay? But the damage to the economic world is has already done, and it may just have another big job in the future. It may last till 2000, right, 2021 or 2022, maybe you need one year or two year for the market to recover the confidence, right? That's a bad thing. So we are going to maintain our strategy as selling high, okay? Selling high will be a good strategy, all right? Okay. Let's move on to Bitcoin. Okay, the Bitcoin is doing well. It rallies from 4,000 to 7,000, even though there is a crash. But we can see from this move, the market actually getting back confidence of the Bitcoin. And if you go to my trading views page, I told you guys to buy from 4,000, right? About here, 5,006. And I said the first target is 6,008, the second target, second target is 7,006. So I think that the Bitcoin will, will hit my target, uh, the second target soon, okay? And then it may have another four, okay? It actually, you, you, you have to measure where, whether the channel can sustain. If not, okay, it may break down again, retest for a big 618 pullback. Okay, to, get, to give you another opportunity to uh, buy from 5004 again, and then it will form another rally. So I'm waiting for the correction to going back to 5300 to buy the BTC again. And right now, my focus will be I want to uh, take some profit at 7600, and I will see the situation to take a sell maybe. Okay, if the BTC failed to break this level, I will take a sell first to capture this four and then you can buy the low from here all right so always remember the trading is about buy the low and sell the high okay with profitable patterns okay with profitable patterns so this is a pattern i'm using i'm using the structure i'm using 618 i'm using the channels okay i'm using the abcd moves okay so you have to 
ask yourself, have you mastered enough profitable patterns? Yeah, if yes, go ahead. The market is yours. We can, we can, we can find a lot of uh, trading opportunities for you to, to become rich, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's simple. And for the LTC, uh, you can you can just wait for the LTC to pull back to forty and to buy. In uh, fifty six, I think the LTC may come back to this place. For the Ethereum, it's also good to buy the low. Okay. Ethereum going back one fifty, fifty lap one fifty is good to buy the Ethereum and. You are aiming, we can aim for 190. Okay, so all the cryptocurrency moves uh, in a similar way. So you can just find where is the origin of the rally and you want to buy at this level when the price have a correction to, to that. Okay, how about the sterling yen? Sure. And the sterling yen is sideways, is sideways for quite long. And uh, um, if you remember my analysis of sterling dollar, I said sterling dollar may move up, correct? Remember? I said sterling dollar may move to 1.30. But if you remember the dollar yen's analysis, the dollar yen may crash to 105. So when a sterling goes up and when a dollar yen goes down, it actually cancels each other. Am I right? Am I right? If the sterling, the sterling dollar is going up, the dollar yen is going down. And if you trade sterling yen, what are you doing? You are buying the, you are picking the sterling and you are picking the yen as a pair, right? So the sterling goes up, the sterling yen can go up, but the dollar yen goes down, the sterling yen can also go down. So it actually cancel each other. So that's why it can explain the situation that sterling yen right now is sideways. So I think it's not good uh, or very wise to trade the sterling in this place, okay? Find some valuable place like this, like 120, okay? Wait for the sterling yen to come back to this zone. You have to buy the low because this is a very, very good place, okay? Buy the low, you can use the 618, okay? To buy the low at 128, all right? That will be a good place for you to buy, but not, not now. Now is sideways. It can go up or go down any, any, anywhere, right? So we don't know whether it will go up or it will be, becomes a false break. We don't know, but we just want to stick with our plan. We want to buy the low. We want to buy from here. Okay, so sterling yen, buy the low. Can I know about the st euro sterling? Sure. The euro sterling has uh, a V shape. And now it's uh, recovering. So I think the euro sterling is good to sell from 0 0.91. Sell, sell from the neckline here. Okay, so wait for the price to come back to sell. Okay. Long term of views, the euro sterling may go down to back to 0 0.83. Okay. So that is about 800 pips for you to capture. Okay, you want to sell the high, capture this wave. If the if use trends across pair goes sideways, yes, you're right. If the dollar index goes trending, okay, do not trade cross pairs because you are canceling each other. Yeah, that's a general uh, information for you guys. Right. Okay, I think we have covered all the markets, the gold, the oil, the S P, and the major currencies, the cryptos. Anyone else? Anything else? Can you talk about China index? Why? Why do you want to talk about China index? China index is not tradable for foreigners, right? Unless you have a stocks market account in China. However, I can tell you the Shanghai Composite is good to buy, to invest in from this 2006 level because you can see this structure is holding the indices, okay? So I think there will be a rally of the China stocks, and you can use the uh, you can use the buy and hold strategies. It's really cheap, two thousand seven hundred indices, okay. And if you look at the some uh, some high uh, high weighted stocks, individual stocks like the 
check the Taoshan securities. Yeah, this is a, one of the largest securities firm in, in China. Okay. It's actually sideways, even though there is a coronavirus. Okay, but it's still main, maintained in this uh, in this zone. Okay. So we basically tell you that uh, yeah, the the the, the high weighted stocks are not performing bad badly, it may still go in up high. Okay. So you can find some opportunities to buy the China stocks. I think it's okay because it's really cheap compared with the stocks, USA stocks. The U.S. stock is still very expensive, I think, personally. Because from the S&P, we, we know that it may have another crash. Silver? Why silver? Why do you want to trade silver? Let me ask you. Why do you want to trade, trade silver? The silver has less liquidity than gold, and silver has a wide spread than gold. And why do you want to trade silver? What's the point? You bought it at 12. Good. You should take some profit. But if you measure the the percentage of a rise, it's definitely is less than the gold. You trade together, right? If you buy gold from one thousand four, you are earning this much. The silver is underperforming than gold. So why don't you choose gold as your primary tools? Well, then you want to choose silver. I don't I don't recommend you to trade silver because. It moves quite violently. Okay, the silver moves up and down. The the the, the volatility is very big, and you have a higher cost of trading. Can you talk about Aussie? Dollar? Already covered Aussie. We want to buy. No, you don't want to just trade silver because it is cheap. There's no thing that is we know that is a bottom. The the, the stocks can never be too low to to sell. Or too high to buy. The price may just break new low and, and break new low. Okay. If you want to talk about the uh, buy and hold strategy, yes, go for it. Go for it, right? Because you know the silver, okay, the ten dollar or twelve dollar is really really cheap price for you to invest. Good. Go for it. You may have a you may have a very very good profit. Okay, with the investing strategies, but not for trading. Okay. If I if I'm a trader, I do I personally I just don't like to trade this kind of markets. I rather choose gold because gold moves more smoothly. It actually gold will give you lesser trading cost, and the technical analysis will be uh, more applicable to the gold than the silver. So do not use the silver for, for trading, but for investing, yes, go, go for it. You can look for some ETFs to buy and hold the, the, the silver, just like the oil, right? Yeah, you can use that. And then you, you, don't, you don't want to use leverage, trust me, okay? No leverage for silver because it really moves too fast. One dollar move of silver is about 8%, but one dollar move in gold is only about... 1%, right? Sorry. 1 over 1,000, yeah. 0 0.1%. It's different. Euro, Euro USD again. Why? Already covered. I'm saying the Euro dollar you want to buy because it breaks the trend line here. The trend line was broken, okay? Buy the pullback and aim higher. Okay, because the dollar index will be crazy. Okay, LTC already covered. All the cryptocurrency looks the same. So LTC, wait for the price to come back to 42 or 41. Wait for it to come back to this level to buy. Buy the pullback. Okay, the breakout happened already here. We have the breakout and pullback strategy very nicely put at a 42 level or 41 level, just using this zone as your entry. Late join. Okay. If you are late join, you miss a, a lot of the webinar. You can just wait for me to upload the video to the YouTube. Okay. A channel in the YouTube is uh, youtube.com slash project. Okay. You can just find me here. I will just upload the webinar recordings to this place. Okay. 
Last but not least, okay, let me just uh, tell you, uh, I'm a professional trainer of professional traders, okay? So I can turn a people who have no knowledge in how to trade, turn him into a professional trader. So if you're interested to learn from me, you can uh, <clears throat> sign up my course, okay? I'm going to cover all the strategies I'm using. I will, I will just transfer the whole trading system to you, okay? I are uh, this other 12 videos which actually last long for about two days course okay yeah so you can sign up on my course to become a good trader and you can join my international students students group to receive constant updates in good trades right I think all my all my students group captured all your trades in the last week isn't it okay, raise your hand who bought the oil from Kenny Right, a lot. Of, I think a lot of students are making a lot of money from this this rally. Yeah, that's the beauty of how to trade professionally, how to trade and let their money working for you. Okay, do not waste your money. Do not chase. You know, buy the high and sell the low. And hey, I'm panic. I don't know how to. Uh, I should cut off my position or not. But should I should I buy some more or should I just wait for the price to come down a little bit and buy? And will the the oil going going up down you know you don't have the, all these kind of worries because you know how to trade professionally all right okay so that's all for today plan your trade and trade your plan i'll see you next week i'm jack and thanks for coming bye bye thank you